new location. So, I left Paul in the room because he broke my nail today. Yanking me on the yard and now he's whining to come out. Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. So, I, you can, I would like to make the, Okay, I believe that he's tired himself out now. He was throwing a fit for the past five minutes, but now I'm gonna continue to talk and make my recipe. Um, I have a dilemma. My dilemma is that I have never, first of all, I've only had cheesecake twice. As you know, I am a non-dairy queen. I am lactose intolerant and allergic to dairy. So it's not just like, oh, my tummy hurts. No, I'm gonna break down hives, my throat is gonna swell up and it's not gonna be a good time. And my tummy's gonna hurt. And my tummy's gonna hurt on top of all that. So for my graduation party, yes, I'm graduating. I want to make a cheesecake, more specifically a vegan cheesecake, more specifically a biscotti cheesecake, more specifically a biscotti cheesecake with raspberry sauce on top. But my issue is, I don't know how to cook or bake, and I'm going to be very, very angry and upset if the day comes and we start trying to make this for the first time and it doesn't turn out well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a, if something goes wrong, then it ruins my entire month person. So what I decided to do is look up three vegan cheesecake recipes and make little samples of them and then attempt to, well, I'm not going to attempt to eat them, I'm going to eat them and see which one is the best and that way we can proceed with that one when the due date is here. Also, I know of Daya, a vegan cheesecake, but I don't like the cheese. So I'm kind of sus about this one, like, is it gonna be good or not? So this is gonna be our option number four, just in case it is good, which would be even better for me because then I don't have to make food. And for the reason the box is like destroyed, but nevertheless, we proceed, pop this back in the freezer until we're ready. The first one is by noracooks.com. Second one is by chocolatecoveredkady.com. And so the third one is by TheBigManWorld.com. So obviously all of these are like for a really, like, don't start, for like 18 slices of uh, cheesecake. So I'm gonna, I wanna make like a little like this size cause me and I are gonna taste test them tomorrow. So I'm gonna have, I found like this baking converter online. So I'm gonna use that. You better not start again. I went to Target today, made the mistake of going to Target for groceries today, and I spent $42 on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 items. Some of them called for yogurt, lime ju or lemon juice, melted butter, cornstarch, graham crackers for the crust. Like I said, I do want to do biscotti, but I'm just going to start with this for now. Um, cane sugar. Um, and then they have vanilla extract in this house. I don't know why it's like opaque, but I'm, it's neither here nor there. Um, coconut cream. And then I got a little foil instead of mini pans because they didn't have any. And I was like, I could just make, you know, like a, a foil pan, right? Also, most of the recipes that I found required cashews. Like, apparently that's, like, a substitute for cream cheese. And it's, like, just get dairy-free cream cheese. Like, you need to be doing too much sometimes. Cashews? Blended cashews? I'm not doing that. Okay, it literally took me 10 minutes of scrolling and fighting ads to be able to finally convert all three recipes. But I finally did it. But these converted, like, a big man had... Big man had his, his own converters on his website and it converted to like 0 0.33 teaspoons. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna use my heart. I found a bowl. Let's start with three. Okay, I have a better idea. Putting them in here. I'm gonna have to mash them with a potato peeler and a potato masher. Isn't it funny that like, I think about this quite often, how Potato mashers only have 
potato mashers only have one purpose. Like, their purpose in life. They only have one use. Like, I feel like these other kitchen utensils, you can use them for multiple things. Like, spatulas, you can, like, flip an omelet. I guess we, you can really just flip things. Not that I think about it. But with, like, this... Okay. I Maybe I'm wrong. Whisk, you really can only whisk things. But I feel like the the name potato masher really just adds to its singularity. And I feel like it really limits it. You know? No one's like, oh, I'm going to use the potato masher for, you know, making scrambled eggs. Some people use whisk for making scrambled eggs. But you're really limited with the potato masher. But whoever made them, like, apparently really had to market off of them. Like, they really made profitability off the potato masher. They had pre-crushed ones, too, for only 10 cents more. But I was like, no, I'm not falling for their trick. And I'm wishing I had a falling for the trick. Because this activity is worth more than 10 cents, I think. I got sharp elbows like my mom. I'm obliterating. I'm actually really amazed <laughs> by how well crushed these are. Like, that didn't take that much time at all. Like, that's, that is a fine powder. BRB. Ow! <sighs> I just jabbed my hand into the bun, sir. Oh. Why does it have barbs? Okay. So let me scroll through these pages and pages of ads to try and get to the recipe. We'll start with Chocolate Carpet Katie because she has the most annoying website. Look at this. This is how far I have to scroll to get to the recipe. And I know this isn't a new complaint, a new sentiment, but it's so ridiculous. Is that the recipe? Nope. And then she put a picture of her holding the cheesecake. Like, I need that. Give me the recipe, Katie. Is this it? Nope, still talking about it. TJ Maxx ad, yoga ad, another picture of the cheesecake. How do I make it though? Come on, <laughs> like, and then three pictures, three of the same pictures of the same cheesecake and another cheese, cheesecake man. TJ Maxx ad. Finally, we get to the instructions. Oh, okay. Optional crust. Oh, she did have crust. But she makes hers with raw nuts of choice and pitted dates. Disgusting, Katie. Fill any baking pan about halfway with water and place it on the oven's... Huh? Let me know I did not read these recipes beforehand. Beat all cheesecake ingredients with a blender or food processor and just until smooth. Do not overbeat smooth on top of the crust and then oh this is so easy okay and then above the rack that has the water pan what is the water for when the time is up do not open the oven even a crack okay so i think it's like so it doesn't like my nana used to tell us don't jump in the kitchen when the cake's in the oven because it'll it'll make it sag in the middle and of course to and it was burning of course, to antagonize her, I would do it. Um, but maybe she was right. Sorry, Nana. Okay, next uh, recipe. Wrap a pan with one to two layers of aluminum foil, covering the bottom and sides. Cut a circle of parchment paper for the bottom and spray lightly. I don't have this. For the crust, in a medium bowl, add the cookie crumbs, butter and sugar stir well then press into the bottom of the pan press down firmly set aside for the filling beat the green vegan green beat the vegan cream cheese for about a minute add the rest and beat again okay so it looks like i just throw everything in the pan and then beat them up okay last recipe and every time you go back to chocolate covered katie's website it scrolls back up to the top so you gotta do that every single time. And of course, all the ads won't load. What is, why is there a picture of macaroni and cheese? 
And I'm on like 15%, bro. Actually, I'm on 8%. Okay, prepare your pie crust and set aside. It's not a recipe. Okay, yeah. Let's just add a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm gonna have two bowls. One for chocolate covered cake. One of them asks for, um, two of them asks for... <sighs> My, I'm so scatterbrained right now. Chocolate covered candy. This is such an ordeal. I'm not a baking girl. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I took the bonsai again. I found a sand mixer, so we're gonna put everything in this bowl instead. And I guess I'm gonna have to do everyone's different things in different bowls, I guess. If that makes sense. Actually, no, it doesn't. Nora, 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 beat the vegan cream cheese into a smooth. So Nora's calls for five and one fourth, one fourth ounce of vegan cream cheese. That seems like a lot, because this is eight ounces, and I put it down to two servings. So five and one fourth is, I guess, about this much. Is that gonna be enough for the rest of them? I'm just, I think I'm gonna have just enough. I swear to God, Nora. She's leading me astray. It's like bouncy. Okay, I won't touch it like that. That's like five ounces, right? Why did I measure this? Just put it in a bowl. To the mixer. Mm. The crazy thing is, I used to work at a bakery. You know, I could probably just do this with my hands. Cause this is like, I don't need a mixer to mix this. Okay, back to the counter. You know what I did find is a, an immersion blender. Believe that. So many locations today. It's probably gonna make a ton of noise. Oh. This is the guard. Okay, I can pop this on here, I think. Mm. Is that okay? Am I dumb? I'm just gonna use my hands. You know what I could use is a potato masher. I could not find a whisk, so I'm just gonna use a fork after all that. I'm technically a whisk. I don't understand if I'm supposed to put the sugar in. Maybe I'm uh, not so smart. Two and a. Two and a. <laughs> I gotta find a can opener. I'm having a time, a time trying to find stuff. I'm just gonna use one of those. Oh, oh my gosh, it has been. <laughs> two, two, two and a quarter ounce. Two and a quarter ounce. Ew. 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 I really don't like coconut. I found one measuring cup and a teaspoon that I'm gonna use. I guess this is more like a tablespoon, but three, table, three tablespoons, one teaspoon of granulated sugar. One, two, three. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay. One fourth teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Oh. Look at this. I'll just pour from the least goopy part. It says expired in. October 2026. That's way too much. And then two teaspoons of lemon juice. Oh, why did I get two lemons? I have a hard time with thinking. Two teaspoons. Let me make sure not to get on my recent cut. I can see nothing I've been doing. Imagine if there's a seed. I think that's two teaspoons. Okay, it says three tablespoons of lemon juice for 
from about two small lemons. Two small lemons seems like it would produce more than three tablespoons. So does this mean, you know, I'm not gonna, none of my business. <laughs> this looks like not enough for two people, but I digress. I hope the silence isn't from him chewing up my computer ports or anything. Mix, mix, mix. That looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. It says to go ahead and put this in the cookie crumbles, which I haven't made. So I'm just going to set it aside. Do I need to put it in the oven? I'm afraid it's going to like mess up if I don't put it in the oven immediately though. I actually just had a brain moment. I'm going to use this and just make like two little mini ones so I don't have to worry about forming a whole pot. My brain is so powerful. Look at how gorgeous this is. I'm so proud. Um, and this is the setup. Very professional. It's not a baking video if there's not shaky cam, blurry, out of focus footage. Essentially what I've been doing is I just made the same crust recipe for all three of the all three of them. Um, and I think I'm gonna put them all in the, at the same time. Although Nora's recipe says do not open the oven, which I think I mentioned. And hers takes 50 minutes while everyone else's takes 30. So I think what I'm gonna do is open the oven. She's not gonna know. The cheesecake is not gonna know either. So what I did was make her crust recipe because like I said, chocolate covered Katie said make them out of dates and cashews. And I'm not doing that because that's disgusting. And Big Man said use a pre-made one and I'm not doing that either. So, I do like this recipe so far. It's just crushed graham crackers, melted butter, and a couple tablespoons or teaspoons of sugar. Also, Nora's recipe is still just sitting there. I think I'm just gonna, mm, maybe what I should do, no, cause now I'm gonna be open the oven twice and then Nora's gonna be really upset. So I'm just gonna whip up the other ones real quick because they they seem pretty simple, and then throw them all in at the same time. I'm such a genius. This is where people say that baking is like an artistry, and I believe that, but maybe I just won't continue that thought. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of them not on camera because I think I'm gonna run out of storage. But basically, Big Man's, which has the yogurt, and then chocolate color Katie, which has the milk, but I think I'm just gonna use the yogurt. So I don't actually know if it's gonna be the exact same recipe as Big Man, but we'll see. Okay, we're all done with everyone's recipe. This one is Nora, Nora Cooks. Let me taste it real quick. That's, what? From the two cheesecakes that I've had, one was homemade, Is that true? This tastes most like what I expect cheesecake to. I feel like I've had cheesecake. It doesn't matter. This is like, I feel like very cheesecakey. All that just to say that. I have high hopes for Nora. My lowest hopes go to chocolate covered Katie. Hers is very like soupy. I think because I put the yo, I she got called for yogurt. I'm just doing what chocolate covered Katie told me to do, and it's also very lumpy. I don't know why. I like mixed it in the order she told me to it, so I don't know. That has a good flavor too. But it's very like it's kind of grainy. And then finally we have Big Man. Very similar to Nora's. His is probably the thickest. Hmm. It's also very cheesecakey. I think I like this flavor the most. Look at this funky little spoon. Cool. Okay, Katie first. Cause I don't like the way it's looking at me. She's going near the good cook tab. As a kind of a little joke. A little nod to the fact that it looks nasty. See, I would, I want to kind of strain it first so I can get the lumps out, but I'm afraid it's going to mess with the consistency. Oh, I love this spoon. It's cool if you can see what I'm doing. Oh, fun! One day, one of these days, I'll get a tripod. A con 
Maybe I'm the good cook. Mm -hmm. Hey, soul sister has remained a constant in my life. Um, next up is Big Man. I believe. Oh, this one is so much more cheesecakey than Katie. Katie, I fear you're gonna let me down. Okay, finally, Nora. Nora is the real N word. Oh my gosh, she said that. I'm gonna take my scholarship. You know, I got one scholarship in the entire course of my time at UNT. They are so full of BS. Blurry, shaky found footage of cheesecake. So we have Nora, Big Man, and Katie going in for. Um, Nora said 30, Big Man said 40 to 45. Katie said 50. So I'm gonna leave them all in for 40 minutes. I just remembered I forgot about the water. Ah! I broke the rules. Wouldn't it be interesting if you... Okay, it says shut door. I know. Would it be interesting if you could fake water? Like, you know how you can freeze it? <laughs> no. But wouldn't it be interesting? Wouldn't it be cool if you could bake water and like have it come out like a jello consistency wouldn't it be cool dog <laughs> okay the cheesecakes are done i'm here with my panelist of expert here's your fork glimmering <laughs> like girl it's not that serious i used three recipes okay okay chocolate covered katie big man and nora cooks Okay. We had a whole ordeal with chocolate curry cake last night. Trust it. Pretend intense. like you're on chopped. Mm. You know they take the smallest bite. That's not horrific. This one's just kind of good. Okay, Katie. It's not like as cheesy. Like you can definitely tell it's yogurt, but it's not like mm. bad. It's pretty good. I like the crust though. So I'm gonna. Seven out of ten. Oh. But you have you've had more experience with cheesecake. It's kind of broken me out. It's a weapon. <laughs> okay, next is Big Man. This one looks really good. Like the presentation. Like it looks I liked his consistency. Cardinally. Right? Yeah. That's not very cheesy. Hmm? It's not very cheesy. Mm -mm. The texture's wrong. Mm. Five out of ten. I would give it also a five. Okay, next time you're going first. Okay, okay. I'm gonna steal my answer. Sorry. Last one is Nora. I think this one's my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. I think I would give this an 8.5. I gave it 8.9. Give me out too. Okay, Nora. Okay. It I like, the first one was good, but like, if you see the cheesecake filling, like, yeah. dissolved or something. It was but very this one, runny and bumpy. Yeah, this one's like, you can have some cheesecake filling, but it's Not still, the texture's right. Oh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have the diet. I don't know why the box is like disintegrating. It wasn't like this yesterday. Hmm. It's perfectly <laughs> round. So I don't have a oh, bunch. Fuck. You can have is it supposed to be this hard? No. <laughs> it said keep frozen. I had it thawing in the in the refrigerated for twenty for forty eight hours. No, for let's just 15. like come back in twenty minutes. Okay. Ah, we got our squares. Is your palate cleansed? Yeah, I just had chicken pot pie. I think it doesn't have any flavor. I'm so confused. It tastes like a school supply. Huh? 3.5. Not great, Daya. My mom warned me. They have key lime pie or key lime chocolate and strawberry flavor as well. I think the key lime. Would yeah, be I like. I think the texture works better for key lime. I love key lime pie. It's my favorite. I love a good apple pie. I love pumpkin pie too. 
I like pecan pie too. Pecan. I was thinking about the way I just said it. I think <laughs> you I mix <laughs> both of them. Pecan. My new. Even the crust isn't good. I like pecan pie, but not when it has like the goo in it. Nani. Like it's just the goo. Yeah. And like I like pecans the cr- floating in yeah. it. I like to, the the pecans to be like mixed mm-hmm. into the glue. Consistent. The glue. It's that's what it is. I don't like cherry pies because no matter how you cook them, the cherries spill out and it renders the pie shapeless. Anyway. Um our winner is Nora and our loser is Is this one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you keep eating it? It's, bad. it's like not bad. It's bad, but it's like I would eat it, but I would be a little sad about it. This is a good cake to nibble on if you're like at a party with people you don't really like. And you don't really know what to say, so you're just like... And you don't like want to join in the conversation. And you're like... Yeah. Sorry, I'm eating cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Because the film in your mouth. Mm-hmm. The more I eat it, the more I'm like, I need to be in a specific environment. You need to be in school. So you can eat the glue. What do you keep talking about eating glue? You said eat glue. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> it tastes I like just say, glue. It looks like... It, I imagine that this tastes and like is like those white erasers. Yeah. I would love to sink my teeth into one of those. You want me to bite this? <laughs> that was so satisfying. You do the other side. Mm. You released so quickly. <laughs> it tastes so bad. It really is a racer, though. We should make a TikTok about with that one. <laughs>